Hey guys, so we're back with another nail video and I feel like in most of my nail tutorials or whatever you want to call these videos that they're just so long and I talk the whole time. So I'm sorry if I've ever bored you guys. I just feel like there's so much to say. So anyway, you saw the thumbnail. We're doing a pretty crazy set today and this is the first time using these extra large nail tips from Amazon. I would not recommend getting them whatsoever because it was like four or five of them came per size and for the price it was just not worth it i gotta give it to them though they definitely do look really good so far and i haven't had my nails this long like probably ever so when i first put them on i was like whoa whoa but i'm falling in love with them as we go along trimming them i already prepped and primed my nails all that good stuff i'm trying to skip all the bs and just give you guys what you want to see I knew I wanted length, I knew I wanted some drama, I just wanted to trim them down a little bit because that's really long for a working woman. I mean, I just, yeah, I, I don't think I could do that, so we cut them down a little bit. I know they're still really long, but at least I can operate with them. So going in with our base gel, you know how we do, we gotta do that first. And I did not even think about how much gel polish it was going to take me to paint these nails. It took a lot of product. It was like a dip per nail. But I'm also running low on this base gel, so yeah. Now I've explained in plenty other videos on my channel that I really love poly gel and I think it's easy to spread and it just is nice and it, it leaves a nice set as well. I mean most of my sets last up to three to four weeks. It just depends on how they're treated. Uh, you know I'm always trying to be careful but working with my hands, both my jobs, that's all I do so you know they, they definitely get beat up a little bit. Also, this is my first time ever trying to do an ombre with poly gel. I think I tried it one other time, immediately wiped it off, and I was just like, we're not doing that today. <laughs> so I figured having a larger surface to kind of blend and work with, that it might be easy to learn how to ombre with this set. So I'm going in with my white first, and then I'll go in with my baby pink next, close to my cuticle, build up that apex, and just be able to get a nice, smooth, French tip kind of colored ombre. You know what I'm saying? Now the blending part is actually a lot of fun. I had so much fun trying to blend these two colors together and I felt like I got a decent ombre for my first time ever trying to do this. So I did go ahead and drill them and file them down and everything off camera just to skip you guys from having to watch it. And now I'm just buffing the tops making sure I got a nice clean smooth surface to you know go ahead and build upon. Now right about here in the video I kind of skip to applying these acrylic flowers and I wasn't recording at first because I was just like maybe I should just keep the video to a minimum and just show them how I did like my French blend or whatever even though it wasn't good and then I'm just like you know what no I'm gonna show you guys so I went ahead and played around first of all trying to just figure out what I was about to do I have very little experience with working with acrylic so I didn't even necessarily know how I was about to go about it 
So my first idea was to get some wax paper or parchment paper and then build my acrylic flowers on the paper so I never had to do anything left handed. And that just didn't quite work like how I wanted it to. It definitely could have but I didn't have the patience to let it dry and I was like trying to form it on the paper and I was like you know what I'm just gonna try it so after I did two nails I was feeling kind of better about it and then before you know it it was just it was a mess because acrylic is tricky for somebody that doesn't know how to do acrylic and also I feel like whenever I'm mixing gel polish in with my monomer it becomes a different consistency so it was runny for a while and I was just trying to shape the petal and really trying to make these individual flowers really cute but it was hard so this set took me so long to do so long to complete but I also took my time and I really tried to make it the best that it could be and that's the thing, like, I started on my nails, I guess, a while ago now, and I really used to put myself down. I really would drag myself, you know, after doing a set. Anymore, I'm just like, yes, like, go me, you go girl, because that's the only way I'm going to want to do it again is if I feel like I'm improving, which I do in some aspects, but sometimes I'll get to the end of a set and I look at my hands and I'm like, hmm okay like I don't know I know nail techs could do better but I just you know come back down to earth put myself back to reality and realize like this is probably a well over a hundred dollar set that I did yeah it took me a while but all the nail tools all the supplies and everything that I use today collectively cost under a hundred dollars so and and that you know that's gonna last me so many sets I just think it's worth it and I keep telling myself I'm getting better at it and if this is something that you want to do at home or I don't know break down your budget but you don't feel like you're crafty enough like just work with it get your thing going once you get the ball rolling you just got to keep hyping yourself up because you know we all can be really hard on ourselves especially something like this like I'm trying to be crafty I'm trying to be cute but it's not always like that so I'm always just trying my best trying to get better honestly I don't even know where this idea came from like I've been wanting to do some sort of 3d acrylic art on my nails but I don't know I was feeling spring and I thought leaves would be cool but that would be a little trickier because I think I would want them more similar to the the next one you know like I think I would want it more like consecutively perfect but with these flowers I could kind of do an individual thing to where everything could be its own and nothing had to look similar and that's what kind of made this more eccentric and out there so I just went in with colors that I thought would look nice for spring and this is really it this is how they turned out Now a little bit of cuticle oil to help this set. I kind of dug up my cuticles with this set. I don't know. I just had a crazy hand, crazy shaky with the Dremel today. So they look a little dry. They're feeling a little dry. So nothing a little cuticle oil can't fix. And that shine factor. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. I tried to be straight to the point and skip the BS like I said. And honestly this was a lot. It took me forever but truthfully I am proud of myself and I see where I could improve and and you know that's all it is it's just some more practice underneath my belt so if you guys ever try something like this or try a set like this whatever even if you don't do it personally I want to see feel free to at me on Instagram Twitter you could DM me you know whatever I also just put up another tutorial on my channel after this one it's like a flower design that is not 3d completely done with just you know gel polish that's it and they also turned out really really cute so go check out that next video and i will see you guys soon